Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn. In today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics, uh, essentially profiling players who quote-unquote busted or didn't live up to expectations, and look at the data to kind of see if there's any reasons why they might not have lived up to those expectations uh, based on production and athleticism data. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description with all this stuff out of the way. The player we're going to be profiling today is Keith Rivers, a linebacker out of USC. Uh, in many ways, Keith Rivers is one of those linebackers that uh, there definitely are some injury reasons as to why he failed in the NFL. You know, he's a guy who had a lot of injuries that kind of piled up on his career. But at the same time, there definitely were some questionable information or questionable data with him coming out. Um, first off, when you look at his production data, he had a 68.74 solo tackle score. Uh, didn't quite hit the all-pro threshold or Pro Bowl threshold, which are the bottom end thresholds in terms of all-pro potential and Pro Bowl potential out of every single linebacker since 1989. So essentially every single multiple all-pro linebacker had at least a 90 or higher score, and every single multiple Pro Bowl linebacker had at least a 77 or higher score. In Keith Rivers' case, he had a 68.74 out of 100. And anyways, Keith Rivers is kind of like a Reuben Foster guy because <laughs> he's someone who... Uh, didn't meet the thresholds of all pro and pro bowl potential, but everybody made the excuse, well, he played at Alabama. And the same could be said of Keith Rivers. Hell, he played at USC. This was USC back when it was kind of known as the linebacker U. Uh, you know, USC was in national championship games. USC was in many ways what Alabama is today, back when Keith Rivers was drafted by the Bengals. So uh, the, the bottom line is his production was not exactly where it needed to be. Now, was that the main contributor to why he failed in the NFL? Probably not. There definitely are some injury issues with him that you couldn't have predicted. But uh, I think that even if Keith Rivers was healthy, he might not have lived up to his lofty expectations because of his production data. On top of that, when you look at his athleticism data, he had a 99.20 explosive lower body strength score, 93.95 speed score, and 75.40 flexibility score. In many ways, Keith Rivers did have great athleticism, as you can clearly see. He pretty much hit all the thresholds you're looking for in terms of all-pro potential at the linebacker position. And the only area where he was a little bit below was the flexibility testing. You know, the average flexibility score for all-pro players about 85.56 out of 100, and Keith Rivers was a 75.40. It doesn't necessarily take him out of that potential, though. Uh, from an athleticism standpoint, but does provide some question marks as well in that his flexibility testing was good, but not fantastic uh, overall. Um, bottom line is, when you look at Keith Rivers, uh, you know, there definitely are other reasons why he did not meet expectations. Injury, of course, being a major contributing factor. But the bottom line is, is uh, the production data was not where it needed to be. The athleticism data was fantastic, and, and Keith Rivers should have been a first-round linebacker in many ways, at least a first-round and day-two linebacker. But when you have a linebacker who doesn't meet all pro slash pro bowl potential, and their athleticism traits do have a couple question marks, you do have to question that. And I think Keith Rivers in many ways just kind of throws a wrench into the whole argument that where a player plays says a lot about them. Because... Ray Lewis played at Miami, of all places, a, a team that was definitely in the run for national championships when he was playing there. And he was a guy who was a 99 percentile solo tackle production guy. Like, just because you play on a national championship team doesn't give you an excuse to not be productive, or at least not meet the thresholds that you're trying to meet. Um, and I think in Keith Rivers' case, there definitely are some injury reasons as to why he might have failed. But I think even if he was healthy, he might not have lived up to expectations of where he was drafted because of his production data and because of a couple issues here and there in terms of his flexibility testing. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.